Hello and welcome back to This is the Police. We have some newspapers to read. Former City Hall employee admits official unemployment data is far from reality. Citizen earnings have fallen 9% since the new year. Unemployment in Freeburg is the lowest in history. This should all spell disaster for the mayor. But for some reason, he seems to uh, be in power for, for the foreseeable future here. So it is what it is, I guess. Good, nobody called in again today. This is excellent. This is two days in a row that everybody's just come in to work. Oh, I got my new piece of music here. Uh, while I'm at it, actually, let's look at the catalog. I think there's some new stuff. What do we got here? What do we got? Uh, this is an expensive one, but you know what? We got to have it. We just got to have it. With all that's in store, uh, coming soon, let's go ahead and we're going to buy everything we can from the store here. Because, God damn it, we just need some new songs. Everything that we have is trash. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right, so absolutely everything is going to be ours. Oh, man, we got two new ones. Let's just start with this one, and if we have time later on in the day, we'll switch it up to our newest one. There we go. Hey, that's not bad. Okay, so right away, let's go ahead and take care of this. I want to send Van Dahl over there, and uh, let's take one of our new ladies with us so that uh, they get a little bit of experience. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, it's just a hit and run. It's not something that we need to bring SWAT along with for or anything like that. Let's also look at the labor market because there might be some new people. Does not look like it. Uh, also, our detective slot. Oh, yeah, that's right. We filled it yesterday. Although, I have to hire this guy. I just got... I have to. Okay, he's going to go to shift B. Okay. And the, that means we're going to have to kind of move some people around to get somebody else on shift A in a little bit here. What is this? The elderly Emma Weston called in a complaint about her neighbors. Her house is shaking from loud sounds of gnashing metal and the roar of turbines, accompanied by some strange beeping noises. Through the window, oh, sorry, through the window, she also saw people moving around. This sounds to me like some kids are listening to music and she doesn't like it. So I'm going to send Brock all alone on this one. I really think it's going to be okay. Not too worried about it, gotta say. Hire female cops from City Hall. Tomorrow's the deadline. Oh, shit, is it really? I really need to start looking at what I've got then. Uh, okay, so let's just take a peek at, at uh, where we're standing here. So we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12? 24 uh, employees. How many females do we have? Eight. There's a disparity of four here. We've got to fire some people if this is going to work. I think we're going to have to get rid of Coleman. Oh, boy. There's serious consequences. Okay, I need to see if I can hire the Mafia here to help me fire some people, or uh, kill some people, I think. That's just going to have to happen. I really don't have too much of a, a choice. Investigation trap. The Mafia will falsify special inv investigation and the detective who arrives at the scene will be killed. Only one detective. Yes, I gotta do it. Tomorrow at 10, the deadline's tomorrow. Fuck. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to succeed with this one or not. I'm gonna try. Offender caught? Yes, excellent. So Castile got better. Moser got better as well, which is also good. And everybody, all the detectives got better. That's that's fantastic. I love it. Crime in progress. Hostage situation with a fatal casualty. Patients at the local asylum rebelled against the nurses during breakfast. Three nurses have been wounded, while others remain locked in with the patients in the dining area. They've threatened to kill one nurse every hour until they're released. That is a very very serious situation so i am bringing swat along i'm bringing essentially everybody yeah i think i think essentially everybody's got to go on this one uh vandal's gonna be back in a minute castile will be back in a minute i've still got lazarini i feel okay about that i just really need good officers uh on site for this one offender escaped Brock, you can't do that to me. I trusted you there. Actually, it's not her fault. I'm the one that made the mistake because I thought for sure it was just going to be kids playing music or something. So, Brock, I'm sorry. Really, I am. That's that's my fault. You have you have a Chevron somehow. Uh oh. Reporters and onlookers have gathered around the building. The asylum patients are watching the growing crowd from the windows of the third floor. Okay, let's call in a negotiator, shall we? 
Everything went better than expected. Good job, everybody. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a little more involved than that. Also, our song ended, I just noticed. So let's put on our new one. Here's what did that say? I totally missed it. Uh, Late Hours, the name of the song, though. Here we go. Hey, this one's pretty good. I dig it. All right. Reckless endangerment at the city center. A frightened woman phoned in reporting that two men dressed in armor were running through the streets shouting, Beware our stings. They were chasing passersby and swinging their blades at them. They've not yet done anyone harm, but their swords seem dangerous enough. Yeah, that does sound pretty serious. Uh, okay, so I'm going to bring two really good ones in Brock because I want Brock to be good. I want her to get better. I need to make sure that when I'm doing this kind of stuff, I put my lowest level person on, or whoever I'm trying to approve, with my good people so that they get experience. That just seems like the smart thing to do, especially if I'm going to be keeping these people around. They might get fired eventually, but for now I have to live with them, so I might as well make them better, right? The Sands need help. An old friend is visiting Mr. Sand, and they're planning on going horseback riding, but the owner of the country club just called. He wasn't making much sense, but it sounds like some punks are beating Mr. Sand's horses to death. Is that right? Grimes, go put a stop to that, will ya? I at least want somebody decent to make sure it succeeds. I haven't seen one of those fail yet, but I just want to make sure. You never know for sure. Plus, it'd be nice to have them around to make sure that they get experience points. Grimes, I don't really care so much if he gets experience points, so it's okay. Uh, right? Oh, yeah, we got a report I didn't look at. Very good. Look at that. Brock got her points back right away. And Stovall's getting better and better every day. He's I, he's probably my favorite officer, even though this guy's technically better. Uh, okay, Grimes is already on his way back, so I guess that was uh, fairly successful anyway. Caught whoever was beating those horses to death. Oh, we're closing things up. Well, maybe not. Noise complaint in the ghetto. Clem Uriev reports that a suspicious, that a suspicious, sorry, that suspicious people are constantly going in and out of the apartment next door. They're carrying big bags, making lots of noise, screaming, and his three sons can't concentrate on their homework, Mr. Uriev urges. Someone's got to show these bandits who's boss. Again, this seems like a fake call to me. Lazzarini, go take care of it. I don't think this is real. I think it's just loud neighbors. In which case, we can tell them to be quiet, but... Uh, honestly, it's not a police matter. That's something for you to discuss with your landlord. Sorry, we gotta be hands off on it. We'll see if I'm right or if we need to send in reinforcements. Oh man, we got a bad storm tonight. Uh oh, the Sands need help. A whole mob of Vargas people attacked a truck belonging to one of our companies. This truck is carrying some important cargo, the kind only Mr. Sand and his deputies know about. The driver tried to call us, but we lost the connection. He may already be dead. You've got to stop those assholes before they make off with the goods. Okay, well, let's go, ladies. Go. <laughs> you gotta help me. Lazarina died. Lazarina straight up died. Well, there goes another officer. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, man. Every time. Well, you know what? This helps. A male officer died. This helps me. Lazzarini. Sorry, pal, but you were a casualty that needed to happen. <laughs> oh, God. That's terrible. I'm going to kill another male employee tomorrow. And then if there's more females on the market, then, then will we actually meet our deadline? I don't know if the deadline is like in the morning tomorrow or at the end of the day. Not sure. But if it's at the end of the day, we might make it. All right, the sands are so far ahead now, we're just killing it. We're killing it. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and declare him dead because I want that slot. All right, uh, who do we need to move around now? We need to move one person up to A, I think. Um, well, we can, I think we need to send somebody around Lazzarini, so maybe 150 or so. We don't really have anybody like that. Uh, I'm going to send Grants. You're going to be... Can I not do that? Can I not send you up to... I can't switch your shift? Okay. I guess that has to happen at the beginning of the day instead of the end of the day. Well, that's it. And it's just going to move right on to day 18. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me again in the next episode as we hopefully have the full day to hire a few more ladies to replace the men that died out. Also, I have to kill one more guy. Sorry, detective, but one of you are going to bite the bullet. You guys have a good one.